beautiful Huntington Beach, California, where we have built a very interesting wine cellar. And why it's interesting is what we did here was had to replace everything within this wine cellar because of mold. And we talk about this a lot on a couple of other customers is, you know, 30% of our business is coming into to customers' homes that have had problems with mold from builders or other wine cellar companies not knowing how to build the, the cellar correctly. So we're really excited to show you kind of what we did over here. So when we first came into the house, what we noticed was probably one of the worst I've seen with mold. And what I mean by that, the bottles were actually green. They were molded. All the labels were completely molded. And we knew that there was air gaps and there was some called a hot wall. So in the back of their house, they have a wall that gets sun on it almost every day. What we realized is there's air gaps. So what we ended up doing was removing everything that was in the wine cellar and then starting over and then put everything just right back together. But in, before we did that, we sprayed the wood and the racks with mold resilient spray to kind of kill any spores or anything on there before we put it back into the wine cellar. We changed out the cooling unit from, there was an oversized unit from Whispercool and we put the correct size in there, quieter unit, uh, more efficient unit. When you have an oversized unit, you're producing more humidity. And then when there's more humidity, then you're gonna get more condensation. So there's a lot of issues with condensation. There's issues with mold. There's issues with air gaps. There's issues with a lot of different things. And when we open this up, we see that you're supposed to have an insulation. Well, they had the fiberglass insulation that you put in regular walls. They had no green board, no vapor barrier to be able to protect from the heat and the cold coming in. And when you have an oversized unit, you're going to produce condensation, you're going to produce mold. They completely renovated the home and they wanted to create kind of a modern feel, but also with some traditional aspects to it as well. So what we have here for the wood, we have some reclaimed barn wood, as well as we also have some the vintage view racks, put a little piece of marble on top of it for a tabletop, and again some X-bins here at the bottom with the, with the drawer. This is a single pane half inch frameless glass that we use as well. 